And now we're going to continue with our interview with Christy Calcagno, Hill Class of 2014. Ms. Calcagno is currently a news anchor and multimedia journalist with ABC News. What would you say exactly goes into the work of being a multimedia journalist? Yeah, so it is a lot of work, a lot of dedication, but also just so rewarding in the end. So being a multimedia journalist means that you get to do it all. So a lot of times I work on my pitch for the day, which is what is going to be the biggest story of the day? What can I accomplish? We use the phrase in our company called new, now, next. So what is the breaker or what's going on in our community that people need to know about? So the first thing that I do is I do research, make the calls, then I go ahead and pitch my story to the newsroom. Once it's approved, I go out with my camera and my gear and a photographer, and I start talking to people, you know, asking police officers what's going on or city council members, and then going straight into the community about where it matters. Gathering all of that information, coming down, writing the story, editing the story, and being live and ready to go for 5, 5.30, and 6 p.m. I'm also an anchor. So being an anchor has the skill and the talent of going actually on the desk. So that is where if something happens and I have to ad lib a story, something's breaking out of Michigan or, or something's breaking right here um, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, you know, I have to be able to gather all the facts and tell our audience what is happening. Uh, and explain it in a way that they can understand. So we might not have all the details just yet, but don't worry, we're on it. We have a crew at the scene and kind of taking them through our process. So it is an amazing job. I, like I said, I, I've always wanted to do this and it's very rewarding, but it is a lot of hard work. Time management has been something that Hill has taught me as well. So uh, you guys probably know that <laughs> with some of your assignments. And then on top of that, having to go to theater too and, and Hill Singers. So you have to balance class classroom work as well as getting ready for your performances. Well, that's pretty much what you do in the in the real world, I guess you can say, is I need to make sure I have everything for a deadline. So that's kind of what I do in a day. That makes sense. What would you say is your favorite story that you've covered as a journalist and what made it your favorite story to cover? I guess my favorite story is kind of just just giving people the details and kind of following up. I do a lot of stories where it it doesn't take just one day. So one of the biggest stories that I covered is actually a murder that happens in Bristol, Tennessee, which is a small market between uh, Tennessee and Virginia. It made national news about this beautiful baby girl named Evelyn Boswell. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous girl um, who went missing. And we started to notice that the mother had to go to court. Well, we went to go and talk to the mother and we were there asking her, hey, where is your child? What, what happened? Where, how do you know what happened to her child? And, you know, she did a one-on-one -on -one interview with us saying that she had no idea where her daughter was and she hopes that something, you know, injustice will be served, right? Come to find out, she was accused of her own child's murder. Now, the reason why I say this sad story, right? It's, it's such a heartbreaking story. But the reason why I say it is because it also hurt me. You know, you think about stories like this, it's, it's so tragic. And we have to be the ones to tell that story. That was, I think, the first moment in my career where I came home and I just thought about why I do this job. I do this job so we can get justice for that beautiful girl, for that baby. You know, we do these stories for that reason and doing these investigative pieces for that reason. Perfect example right now, I'll tell you, the reason why I wasn't on at 8 p.m. was because I'm working on a cold case that... Uh, a woman who was found murdered back in 1972 out of Massachusetts. On Halloween day, they identified her as a girl here from our area, uh, like a 37-year-old woman. So I was on the phone with the, uh, the, the woman's nephew. Like, hey, can we talk? What, I want to know. I, I want to know about her. Who is she? Who, who do these people know? So, you know, those stories that really impact and change life and makes people go, wow, this is what's happening? You know, it kind of those eye-opening things. So I know that sounds a little dark. There are amazing stories that I do. I just did one about kidney transplants, how a woman just found like a social media post about kidney transplants and just said, I think I can help her. And she saved a random girl's life. Didn't even know her, didn't know the name, anything about her. She just said, I think I'm just going to go 
go and help her. So those stories are beautiful too. But the stories that make a, such a huge impact on an entire town, an entire city, and even an entire country too, with this nationwide stories really just make make me know, wow, this is, we're really making a difference. So long-winded, but that's why I do it. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> no words. That's, that's yeah. so me. Like it's, yeah, you get so many like positive and negatives out of it. So, I mean, stories wise, but you know, you, you take a story like that, like the story you were talking about, but when you think about it, you're, you're getting to deliver that story to, to the community. So it's a great thing. Yeah. You always say the words, I, I use the phrase, it's on my Twitter and on everything, the voice for the voiceless. So Definitely. that's exactly what journalists are. So if we can make a difference in anybody's life, in a person's life, then we're doing our job. So how does one become an anchor? What do you study in college? How do you work your way up? And what was the interview process personally for you like? Yeah. So I went to Ithaca College in upstate New York. Uh, class of 2018. So I studied uh, broadcast journalism. In my school, they had pretty much like Hill TV, we had called ICTV. So I did a lot of extracurricular activities. Um, the best thing that I did in college was internships. So I was able to every single year, every single summer, have some kind of internship to figure out if I wanted to do news, entertainment, or sports. So I had, uh, for example, I worked for NBC Sports at the Pyongyang Olympics uh, one year, and I did, I worked with the New York Rangers, but then I also worked for Circuit News, which was entertainment, and then I kind of just ended up in the news department, uh, just because what I've already said, kind of telling those stories for like real people. So that's what I studied in college. Um, the interview process was actually really good. Uh, being able to have the internships that I had in, in college really opened the door for me for a full-time job. So when I worked for Circa News, they had a bunch of news, local news television stations in what's called Sinclair Broadcast Group. So that's the company that I worked for. So Sinclair uh, had Circa News, which was their entertainment-based show. And then they had a bunch of local news stations. So since I was already working for uh, Circa, I already had my name in, in the system, in the database. So it was really easy for me to say, hey, I already work here. I'm, I'm about to graduate. What do you say you give me a shot? And that was something that was really helpful for me. To get to an anchor was uh, definitely a, a lot of hard work. My best advice for somebody to is do everything. Uh, I, when I came in to my first job, I was just a reporter. I had no experience whatsoever, really. Uh, I knew how to hold a camera and edit, but with all my internships, I was able to get the job. So, you know, I was a full-time reporter and I wanted to learn more. So I learned how to produce on my off time. I shadowed some of the full-time anchors on my days off. So I took the extra step to learn how to do it. So for when one of the anchors left on the weekends, I said, hey, knocked on the door to the news director and said, I know she's leaving. Can I have a shot? And they gave it to me because I knew how to do everything. And that is something that is the biggest takeaway. Learn how to do it all. It might not be your passion. I don't really like producing, but if it wasn't for how, if it wasn't for producing, if it wasn't for reporting, I would not be where I am today as an anchor. So that is the biggest takeaway. Learn how to do it all. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Honestly, I feel like everything that you just said was so inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it makes me want, makes both me and Emma like want to enrich LTV, do everything that we can to make it like amazing. And I'm so happy that you joined us and we're able to make it today. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank this you. So is, much. Honestly, she was amazing. You girls are really great. Thank you guys again for just taking the time to chat with me tonight.